Leukotriene modifiers are a group of medications that help breathing, so they're typically used to manage nasal congestion and inflammation associated with allergic rhinitis, as well as to manage narrowing and obstruction of the airways in obstructive lung diseases such as asthma. Asthma is characterized by chronic inflammation in the lungs, as well as asthma exacerbations or attacks, where certain triggers such as viruses, allergens, stress, aspirin, and exercise lead to reversible bronchial smooth muscle spasms and mucus production, both of which make it hard to breathe. As a result, clients experience symptoms like dyspnea, wheezing, coughing, and chest tightness. Now, leukotriene modifiers act by decreasing the action of leukotrienes, which are inflammatory molecules produced and released by certain immune cells, such as mast cells, to trigger an inflammatory response. Once released, leukotrienes bind to leukotriene receptors located on the bronchial smooth muscles, causing them to contract, as well as on the mucous glands to increase mucus secretion. In addition, leukotrienes increase blood vessel permeability, which results in fluid leakage and edema. Now, leukotriene modifiers can be classified into two groups, based on their mechanism of action. On the one hand, leukotriene receptor antagonists, such as Montelukast and Zephyrlocast, bind to and block leukotriene receptors on the airways, preventing leukotrienes from binding. On the other hand, leukotriene synthesis inhibitors, such as Xylutin, inhibit the enzyme that produces leukotrienes. Now, regardless of the exact mechanism, the net effect is decreased leukotriene action, leading in turn to decreased smooth muscle contraction in the airways, decreased mucus secretion, and decreased inflammation. All right, now, unlike other medications that are used for asthma, leukotriene modifiers are typically administered orally and have slower onset of action, which is why they are only used as part of maintenance therapy and not during an acute attack. In addition, they are especially effective in preventing exercise or aspirin-induced asthma. However, leukotriene modifiers can have side effects. The most common side effects are mild and nonspecific, such as headache, gastrointestinal disturbances, fatigue, and a skin rash, or urticaria. However, they can also lead to severe allergic reactions, as well as neuropsychiatric effects like agitation, sleep disturbances, depression, and suicidal ideation. Montelukast has a boxed warning for these neuropsychiatric events. In general, leukotriene modifiers should be used with caution in those with severe asthma, as well as in clients with existing depression or suicidal ideation. Zephyrlocast and Xylutin are also potentially hepatotoxic, and Zephyrlocast is contraindicated in clients with active liver disease. Okay, so before administering a leukotriene modifier, assess your client's respiratory status, and confirm your client's liver function tests are normal. Also, be sure the client does not have a history of depression or suicidal ideation. Then, teach your client that leukotriene modifiers are maintenance medications that are to be used along with their other routine respiratory medications. Remind them that leukotriene modifiers should never be used to treat an acute asthma attack. Also, instruct your client to continue to take the medication regularly even when they're feeling well, and not to discontinue it abruptly. Finally, if your client plans to become pregnant or breastfeed while taking a leukotriene modifier, instruct them to talk to their healthcare provider. While your client is taking a leukotriene modifier, periodically monitor their liver function, especially if they are prescribed Zephyrlocast or Xylutin. Stress the importance of reporting any symptoms that may indicate liver problems, such as fatigue, loss of appetite, epigastric pain, or nausea. Also, closely monitor your client for neuropsychiatric problems like changes in mood or behavior and teach them to report problems such as sleep disturbances, depression, agitation, or thoughts of suicide right away. Now, if your client is prescribed Montelukast to prevent exercise-induced bronchoconstriction, teach them to take the medication two hours before exercising. If the medication is in the form of an oral granule packet, instruct them to take it within 15 minutes of opening the packet. Let them know that they can either put the granules directly in their mouth, or they can mix it with a spoonful of something like applesauce or ice cream. If Zephyrlocast is prescribed, teach your client to take the medication on an empty stomach 
one hour before, or two hours after meals. Lastly, if your client is prescribed Zylutin, be sure they know to take their medication with food. All right, as a quick recap, leukotriene modifiers help improve breathing by decreasing bronchoconstriction, mucus production, and inflammation. They are often used to treat obstructive lung diseases, allergic rhinitis, and nasal congestion. Leukotriene modifiers are maintenance medications and are not effective in treating acute asthma attacks. Nursing considerations include client education and monitoring for serious side effects, including hepatotoxicity and neuropsychiatric problems like depression and suicidal thoughts. Helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.